Good morning and welcome to St. Ambrose. This is September 27 and today we celebrate the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our opening song is All Are Welcome. Let us build a Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Again, we gather, keeping holy the Lord's day, mindful of his presence among us, a presence that's called to bring us peace and to bring us unity. We humbly, though, as sinners, bow before him, asking him in his great kindness to lift us now with his mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
O God, who manifests your mighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You say, The Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel. Is it my way that is unfair, or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from the virtue to commit iniquity and dies, is it because of the iniquity he committed that he must die? But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does, what he, and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all sin that he has committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. Esto dice el Señor. Si ustedes dicen, no es justo el proceder del Señor, escucha casa de Israel. ¿Con qué es injusto mi proceder? ¿No es más bien el proceder de ustedes que es el injusto? Cuando el justo se aparta de su justicia, comete la maldad y muere. Muere por la maldad que cometió. Cuando el pecador se arrepiente del mal que hizo, practica la rectitud y la justicia. El mismo salva su vida. Si recapacita y se aparta de los delitos cometidos, ciertamente vivirá y no morirá. Palabra de Dios. Remember not in your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being one of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for its own interests, but also for those of others. 
having you the same attitude that is also in Jesus Christ, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee should bend, and those in heaven and on earth and under earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Lectura de la carta del apóstol San Pablo a los filipenses. Hermanos, si alguna fuerza tiene una advertencia en nombre de Cristo, si de algo sirve una exhortación nacida del amor, si nos une el mismo espíritu y ustedes me profesan un afecto entrañable, llénenme de alegría teniendo todos una misma manera de pensar, un mismo amor, unas mismas aspiraciones y una sola alma. No hagan por el espíritu una rivalidad ni persuasión, antes bien, por humildad, cada uno considere a los demás como superiores a sí mismo y no busquen su propio interés, sino el del prójimo. Tengan los mismos sentimientos que tuvo Cristo Jesús. Cristo, siendo Dios, nos consideró que debía aferrarse a las prerrogativas de su condición divina, sino que, por el contrario, se anonadó a sí mismo tomando la condición de siervo, y se hizo semejante a los hombres. Así, hecho uno de ellos, se humilló a sí mismo, y por obediencia aceptó incluso la muerte y una muerte de cruz. Por eso Dios lo exaltó sobre todas las cosas, y le otorgó el nombre que está sobre todo nombre, para que al nombre de Jesús todos doblen la rodilla, en el cielo, en la tierra, y en los abismos, y todos reconozcan públicamente que Jesucristo es el Señor para la gloria de Dios Padre. Palabra de Dios. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, what is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not, but afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, yes, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? 
They answered the first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. What kind of God do we believe in? ¿En qué tipo de Dios creemos? The gods of ancient times. Los dioses del tiempo de enseñanzas. Of Greek mythology and the Roman Empire. Del Imperio Romano. Remember they had many gods. Porque ellos tenían varios dioses. They were gods who were very powerful. Estos eran dioses que tenían mucho poder. And were very quick to show their power. Y estaban muy ansiosos de mostrar su poder. And demanded complete obedience from their subjects. Y pedían obediencia completa de los demás. Even to the point of uh, uh, punishment. Hasta el punto de recibir castigos. But our God. Pero nuestro Dios. The one true God. El verdadero Dios. Look at the image we get of him today in Paul's letter. Miren la imagen que recibimos de él de la carta de San Pablo. Jesus, though he was equal to God. Jesús, aunque era igual que Dios, one of the persons of the Trinity, una de las personas de la Santísima Trinidad, who did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at, él no se dio el mismo valor que Dios y es algo que debemos de entender. Rather humbled himself. Al contrario, él se humilló. To be born like us in the human state. Al nacer igual que nosotros. Even to the point of dying on the cross. Hasta el punto de morir en una cruz. A head scratcher. Eso es como para pensar, ¿no? That's God. Es Dios. That's the God we profess and believe in. Es en el Dios en el que profesamos y en el que creemos. That's the God we put our trust and faith in. Es el Dios en que ponemos nuestra confianza. Not a God of great power and vindication. No es en un Dios que tiene mucho poder. But a God who humbles himself so much to be born like you and me. Pero es un Dios que se humilla tanto por nosotros. And to die for you and me. Y que también murió por ti y por mí. What kind of God is that? ¿Qué tipo de Dios es este? You've heard me say this before. Ya me han escuchado decir esto antes. When all is said and done, a lot more is said than usually done. Cuando todo se dice y se hace, más bien se hace, se dice más de lo que se hace. We probably even said, talk is cheap. Y a veces decimos que hay pláticas baratas. It's easier to say we're going to do things than to actually do it. Es más fácil decir las cosas que actualmente hacer las cosas. But in terms of living our faith. Pero en términos de vivir nuestra fe. And responding to what God is asking of us. Y responder a lo que Dios nos está pidiendo. Our words and our deeds truly matter. Nuestras palabras y nuestras obras verdaderamente importan. And sometimes what we do is more important than what we say. Y muchas veces lo que hacemos es más importante que lo que decimos. We hear that confirmed in the gospel today. Lo escuchamos, esto no lo confirma el evangelio del día de hoy. The two sons are asked to do the same thing, to go work. Cuando dos hijos se les pide hacer el mismo trabajo, ir a hacer lo mismo. One says no, one says yes. Uno dice que no y el otro dice que sí. Two different responses. Dos respuestas diferentes. But the one who said no went and did what the father asked. Pero el que dijo no, él fue y hizo lo que le pidió su padre. And the one who said yes, whatever you want, y el que do it. Y el que dijo sí, voy a hacer lo que tú me pidas, no lo hizo. Who did the will of the Father, Jesus asks. ¿Quién hizo lo que le pidió el Hijo, nos pregunta Jesús. It's the one who actually did what the Father asks. Es el que hizo lo que el Padre le pidió que hiciera. It's easy sometimes for us to say, oh, I'm Christian, I'm Catholic. Es muy fácil para nosotros decir, yo soy un feligres, soy católico. But a lot of times our actions and our deeds don't correspond with the gospel. 
Pero muchas veces nuestras palabras y nuestras acciones no corresponden a lo que nos dice el Evangelio. For us to be saved, they have to. Para nosotros, para ser fieles, tenemos que hacerlo. We can't say one thing and do something else. No podemos decir una cosa y hacer otra. We can't say we're children of God, but then live like we're not. No podemos decir que somos hijos de Dios, pero no vivir como si somos hijos de Dios. We say, can't say we believe in the teachings of Jesus, but then put them aside when they become inconvenient. No podemos decir que creemos en las enseñanzas de Jesús, pero hacerlas a un lado cuando es inconveniente. Our God doesn't make us love him. Nuestro Dios no nos hace que lo amemos. Our God doesn't demand that we love him. Él no, se, no nos exige que lo amemos. He just asks that we do. Él solamente nos pide lo que hacemos. That is our choice. Y esa es, es lo que nosotros queremos hacer. And our words and our deeds have got to support the choice we make. Y es en nuestras acciones, en nuestras palabras, apoyar lo que Jesús nos pide. Actions do speak louder than words sometimes. Las acciones hablan más que las palabras algunas veces. And when we stand before the Lord, y cuando estemos ante el Señor, he's not going to ask us what we said we believed. Él no nos va a preguntar qué es en lo que creemos. He's going to ask us, how did you live like you believed? Él nos va a preguntar cómo viviste en lo que tú crees. That's why it's important for us to listen to the word of God. Por eso es tan importante para nosotros escuchar la palabra de Dios. And not just say, I believe. Y no solamente decir, yo creo. That can be easy to do. Eso puede ser muy fácil de hacer. The cross is living what we say we believe. Pero la cruz nos enseña lo que nosotros, en lo que nosotros creemos. And that's how we do the will of the Father. Y eso es el camino al Padre. We have to sit with Jesus. Tenemos que sentarnos con Jesús. We have to sit with the Word. Tenemos que sentarnos con el Señor. For it to become more a part of us. Para que Él se haga más parte de nosotros. So that's going to be my homework for you this week. Así que les voy a dejar algo de tarea esta semana. I know people are on social media an awful lot. Yo sé que las personas pasan mucho tiempo en las redes sociales. And sometimes a lot of the things they see on social media becomes gospel to them. Y muchas veces lo que miran en las redes sociales pasan a ser su evangelio. Whether it's true or not. Y hay algo de verdad en eso. If it fits the way I want to believe, then it's true. Si esa es la forma en la que lo que yo quiero creer se hace verdadero. So this week I'd ask you to spend less time on social media. Así que esta semana les pido que pasen menos tiempo en redes sociales. And spend some time with the Gospels. Y que pasen tiempo en el Evangelio. Pick one. Elijan uno. All four of them are pretty good. Oh, si quieren los cuatro, todos están bien. And spend as much time reading the word of God as you do reading what's on your computer screen. Y pasen el mismo tiempo que pasarían en su computadora, pero leyendo los evangelios. Especially during these crazy times. Especialmente en estos tiempos locos. We all need to spend more time with the Lord. Todos necesitamos pasar más tiempo con el Señor. And if we say we are Christian, y si nosotros decimos que somos cristianos, we say we are disciples of Jesus, si decimos que somos discípulos de Jesús, we have to do more than say it. Tenemos que hacer más de lo que decimos. We have to live it. Lo tenemos que vivir. The best way to live it y es la forma de vivirlo is to become more and more familiar with this. Es el familiar, familiarizarnos más en el Evangelio. Our God is not like all the other gods of past history. Nuestro Dios no es como todos los demás dioses atrás en la historia. Time and time again, we hear who our God is. El tiempo nos dice quién es nuestro Dios. We see who he is through Jesus. So siempre pensamos en Jesús. And we live who he is when we live with the Spirit. Y vivimos como él cuando vivimos en el Espíritu. Who did the will of the Father? ¿Quién fue quien hizo lo que le pidió el Padre? Who does the will of our God? ¿Quién hace la voluntad de nuestro Dios? Those who say they believe, Aquellos que dicen que creen and live by their words and deeds, y que viven por sus obras y sus palabras. How much they love God, es lo mucho que aman a Dios by how much we love each other. en lo mucho que nos amamos unos a otros.
gathered here as people of faith who believe in the one God, we make that profession now. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our faith. As God's people now, we turn to the Lord, to the God who made us and who loves us as his people as we lift up these prayers. May Archbishop Thompson, Father Dan, and all church leaders always protect the love of Jesus. Para que el Arzobispo Thompson, el Padre Dan, y todos los líderes de la Iglesia siempre proyecten el amor de Jesús. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May our President, Congress, and all world leaders look beyond their personal desires and govern for the compassionate treatment of all people equally. Para que nuestro presidente, el Congreso, y todos los líderes mundiales miren más allá de sus deseos personales y gobiernen por el trato compasivo de todas las personas por igual. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May our parish family be unified with a single love for one another within our parish and our greater community. Para que nuestra familia parroquial esté unida con un solo amor, el uno por otro, dentro de nuestra parroquia y nuestra comunidad en general. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all of us, as sinners, repent through the sacrament of reconciliation and receive, receive mercy from God. Para que todos nosotros, Como pecadores, nos arrepintamos a través del sacramento de la reconciliación y recibamos la misericordia de Dios. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all who are sick receive dignified and loving care. Por todos los que están enfermos que reciban un cuidado digno y amoroso. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Para que las almas de todos los fieles difuntos, por la misericordia de Dios, descansen en paz. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God hear and answer the prayers we hold most deeply in our hearts. Que Dios escuche y responda a las oraciones que tenemos en lo más profundo de nuestros corazones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we humbly bow before you, who are our God, and ask you to receive our prayers. Lift us with your mercy and your love, so that we can lift one another by what we say and do, through Christ our Lord. Our presentation song is We Have Been Told.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now we possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the fruits of the Holy Spirit, through whom you raised Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. So now with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Tomeni comento deste el, porque esto es mi cuerpo, que será entregado por ustedes. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Ambrose and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Charles our Bishop, the order of bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. It is now at the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace. Este es el Cordero de Dios. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
Jesus, you are the high priest. Thank you for giving us your saving body and blood in the Eucharist. <clears throat> from our parish to respond to the call of priesthood. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death. He who lives and reigns forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass here is ended. Let us go forth, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Our closing song is, We Are Many Parts.